Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Bienvenue dans WhatsApp Caribbean. C'est toujours un plaisir pour nous retrouver. Nous. À soir, nous gagnons un invité qui fait partie de la famille de Allen TV depuis très longtemps. C'est un monde que tout le monde connaît dans la communauté haïtienne. Il s'agit du docteur Rudolf Moïse, haïtien qui a gardé nous dans l'autre île. Je vais faire nous connaître que son personnalité haïtienne dans la communauté a gagné une clinique médicale et il a gagné un pile chiropractor. Et récemment, il a grandi la clinique. Li a fait tout un gros autobré clinique. Il a mis un service esthétique là-dedans. Ça veut dire que tout le monde qui a gagné, qui a besoin, qui est belle, qui est jeune, eh bien, il a jambé, il est allé dans la deuxième clinique, Dr. Moïse. Il y en a à côté de l'autre d'ailleurs. Et Dr. Moïse, tu es pour te annoncer que tu gagné un nouveau membre dans le staff qui prend le second Il y a qui, même Jean Avelli, dans le même domaine, sont docteur lié et en même temps, ils ont une spécialisation dans la médecine esthétique. Tout. Donc, c'est exactement ça que tu as besoin dans la clinique. Là. Nous allons faire connaissance avec lui là. Dans un moment, installez-nous confortablement. Mesdames et messieurs, j'ai moi été annoncé nous li, nous gagnons aujourd'hui à deux invités que alors gagnons que nous connaissons, c'est super star communauté hein? et gon l'autre que le pral présenter nous. Il s'agit du docteur Moïse qui pral présenter nous, un nouveau membre dans staff li dans Comprehensive Health Center. What I really like with Comprehensive Health Center is the fact that they evolve with their time. Uh, you have the tendency to believe that when a company or a practice was there like 20 years ago and they stay the same, which is what we see most of the time, unfortunately, in our Haitian practice. They, they start big and they stay at the same level for years and for years. But the difference with Comprehensive Health Center is that Dr. Moïse is always à la mode, always evolving with his time and always growing. So it's a pleasure for us tonight to say hello to Dr. Moïse again. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. And then you will introduce our beautiful guest today. Okay, well, um, a few uh, months ago, uh, I met uh, Dr. Finoli at a seminar uh, uh, on weight control. Uh, it's a company that provides different aesthetic courses, uh, Botox, filler, everything else. And we met her and she was sitting in the front by herself, very shy, you know, looking at us and so on. So my wife and I, we were there. Uh, and then when we started to introduce ourselves, uh, everybody was MD, things like that. And she was, she's a DO. And I said, oh, I'm a DO too. You know, doctor of osteopathic medicine. Yeah. So at the break, I went, I said, hi, I'm Dr. Moise, I'm a DO. And, and then so, so we kind of connected, you know, so we exchanged numbers. And we met her again at another conference And then we said, well, what are you doing now? Well, she said that she was finishing a residency in family practice at Broward, Broward General. Yeah. Memorial Broward General? Broward General, Broward Health Medical Center. So, uh, and I said, well, you know, we looking for someone. Uh, would you be interested? She said, she said, she said yes. So, uh, and then she was busy taking an exam, preparing a final exam for, uh, for, for a residency. So, and then she came to the office and then we 
And then we decided to... Uh, wow. She's a great negotiator, by the way. I tell you. I mean, she, really? <laughs> So she's costing you a fortune. Oh, I got it. You know, but, you know, you know, <laughs> but, you know we finally, uh, uh, um, um, and then what I like too is not only she's family practice, but she also does aesthetic just like me as well. Fantastic. So, so uh, we decided to um, bring you on board wow. and, 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 and here she is. Welcome to the community. Yes, thank you. It's been great so far. Absolutely. Yeah. So I would like you to explain to us what is a DO, first of all, mm -hmm. for our viewers who maybe do not have any idea of sure. what it is. Sure. What is the difference so, between a DO and an yeah. MD? So a DO and an MD are very similar. We have very similar training. We take the same board exams. The difference mainly lies in that DOs are trained in manipulative medicine and we have a heavy focus on preventative medicine, preventative care, trying to prevent disease rather than just treat disease. Um, and we can do chiropractic manipulations in addition as well. So that's really what drew, drew me to the DO field. Um, so it's a plus. Yeah, actually. it's a huge plus and it's unique and it helps you think differently and want to try to beat something before it presents itself to help the patient. So you have, you look extremely young, but you have all these qualities and all these competence. Uh -huh. That is fantastic. Thank so, you so not much. only you take care of the, you know about aesthetics but also a DO and a, almost a chiropractor too, I guess. <laughs> yes, we do have a lot of training, of, which is, yes. is nice. And um, even if you don't necessarily use the chiropractic training, it's good to help patients come up with rehab strategies in that way. And I know Dr. Moise focuses a lot on rehab, so it's a really nice added bonus um, in our training to help us think about the full picture of what may be going on with a patient and the best strategy to help them overcome it. Okay, so, so far, how is your experience with the Haitian community? Because uh, I guess you are American. I am, yes. Okay, you're born here. Yes. But it's a different culture. It being is. In the it's Haitian very community. different. Yes. <laughs> totally different. Yes. So how is the experience? It's been really great. I think it's one of my favorite accents and languages. Really? Yes. And I think that so many patients are, are so thankful and so grateful. And even if I'm using a translator, just the appreciation that so many patients give is heartwarming. And I really appreciate it a lot. I had a few um, Haitian attendings actually in residency. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. And just just being with Dr. Moise, I feel like I've been immersed in the culture already. We did a volunteer event for children, for physicals before they went back to school. Okay. Um, so it's been nice to meet the community and broaden my horizons too. So what have you learned about the Haitian community? What is the first thing that caught your attention? I think how close most of my patients are with their families. So if we I have family them, oriented, yes. big time. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah. And you know, we don't kick our kids out when they're 18. Oh, really? We don't. You we let keep them, them forever for life? until they get married. <laughs> and if they don't get married, they stay with us until oh. they want to leave. Oh, so that's, that's really one, nice. It's just to show yeah. that what you said is exactly the reality. Yeah. We are really family oriented. Mm -hmm. yes. I think every Caribbean people. Right? No? Don't you think so? Yes, I think so. Yeah, yes. I think so too. And then the cooking as well, Aha! which can be good and bad. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you specialize be good good. in weight yes. loss. Exactly. You don't want to gain They're, weight without yes. griot. Yeah. Have you tasted our griot? No, I haven't, but I've heard a lot of stories. and um, Pickles? Yes. So. Wow. Do you yeah. eat <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll try it. One we day. have a fantastic, we we have never fantastic eat, food. Never I tried never it. No. Dr. Moore, you should bring her some Haitian food, yeah. <laughs> but we don't want her to lose her focus with her beautiful... Everything in moderation, plastic. though. Everything in moderation. In moderation. Yes. You know, that's a very good message mm -hmm. for everybody in the community. It's not because you are on diet or you watch yourself that mm -hmm. you cannot taste a little bit of no, everything. No, absolutely. It's just the way you do it. Right. You only have one life. You should enjoy it to its fullest, but you should also be mindful of the of the amount you're consuming and protect your body too so that you can continue to enjoy it for more years. So how do you eat yourself? Because <laughs> we, you know that in the Haitian community we also have a weight problem uh -huh. and especially people with diabetes, sure. hyper, uh, how do you call it, high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So what is the best way to eat to be pretty like you? Well, of course, <laughs> we can stay thin and not pretty like you, but yeah. to stay thin. I think that for me, I played tennis in college, so playing oh. sports is my, you know, top thing of staying healthy, heart health, and, you know, keeping our bone health too, especially as a female. 
Um, but in terms of diet, I think, you know, have something that you enjoy exercise, even if it's walking, walking in the park, what have you. Um, have something that you enjoy exercise for, for heart health and bone health. But I think diet is, is one of the most important things you can do and often gets overlooked. People often think of weight loss as an exercise regimen and forget about how important diet is. And so for me, I like having three meals a day, maintaining my metabolism, um, and I try not to eat after six or seven at night. Really? Yes. Because You're not hungry during the night? <laughs> I think once you train yourself, it, it improves, but keep... the later we eat, and especially depending on what time you go to bed. So if you're going to bed at 8 p.m. and you're eating snacks 7, 7.30, a lot of that can get... You will not wake up in the middle of the night like, I'm out. No, <laughs> no. I have to eat something. No, you don't want to do that. You'll mess up your sleep and then you won't get a restful sleep and then you'll get dark circles and you'll have to come see us in our aesthetic clinic. Okay. Good, yeah. Um, but no, I think that if you can intermittent fast without doing it to an extreme level to give your body time to metabolize and burn off excess calories, then it's... It's a great little trick for weight loss that isn't very difficult. You can still enjoy your food and your meals throughout the day. Um, but, but you check your calories. I, I don't. Um, I just portion control. But I think that in the beginning, if you have a weight loss goal and you are overweight, then calorie counting is great. And they make great apps on your, on your phone to make it easier for you. There are. Yes. I particularly like the MyFitnessPal. Yes, exactly. Which I've is used helping that one. a lot mm -hmm. and everybody likes it. Yes. I lost a lot of weight with it. Yep. So yeah, that's yeah. one of them. Yeah. So will you eat chocolate, for example? Of course. Yes. You do eat your and chocolate. My favorite so you is see, ice it's cream. It's possible <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to stay thin yes. and of to course. eat chocolate. Yes. Of Even course. though being thin in the Haitian community is not like uh, a very important thing because our men, they have the tendency to like the woman. Oh. <laughs> there are exceptions. I don't uh -huh. know about you, Dr. Moise, but they Caribbean men, they like yeah. some, uh -huh. some meat on their right. bones. <laughs> what do you think? He stayed quiet, he's diplomatic. <laughs> Tell me your experience. Do you think? Um, let, let men, Haitian men, they do like women with, you know, that's why people now, they are into the BBL, the big, the big, you know, behind yeah. uh, because they like, they, they like that, you know. The big uh, butt. The mm -hmm. big butts. Uh, why? I, uh, you know, You're not one of them, Dr. You know, no, no, no. I mean, it's okay to have a nice rounded behind, but this thing that does like this, <laughs> and you see the people in the studio, they're getting your BBL done, and it, it's really like, I mean, it's really round. I mean, that, that's, a little, that's a little too much. <laughs> that is a little bit extreme. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little extreme, you know. Yes, and uh, especially when the person has like very skinny ties, and you see very skinny ties and a big butt, and yeah. you see that it's not the real one automatically. Yeah. Yeah, like awesome. she said, everything in moderation, you know, moderation. if in moderation, so so on. But you do this procedure at your yeah. facility, and it's been very successful. Yes, you have a yeah, lot yeah. of people who want to have, some people are really flat. And I saw one of the cases you had recently where a girl with a very flat butt had a perfect one after. Yeah. And you, can you explain to us how you did it? First of all, we have to remove, remove the fat. Okay. Um, and remove the fat, the uh, machine that we have uh, uh, is, is a laser. So when we take the fat, then when the fat comes out, it's already ready to go. We don't have to treat it. We take, we take the fat and inject it. You can inject it either in, in the butt, on the side, the breast, or the face. On the and breast as well? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not it's, dangerous? Instead of, no, instead of having... Uh, just the implant and so on, then you can put it and then it, it increase, increase the volume. So it makes it, and, really? it's, and this is your own fat, so it's, it's, more, it's more natural, it lasts longer as well. Okay. So, so and, 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 the, and, the, um, and, and the butt as well, you can put it on the side to make it, to make it nice. Not too big, I, you know, I recommend not against it, but, but just enough to kind of balance it out and make it, make it nice. I think that's really fantastic that you could go into di this direction, you know? I like the fact, I said it at the beginning, I like the fact that you're always evolving. You don't stay at one level and you, you, you go out of your comfort zone, which is a very, very good quality. So now you fall into the aesthetic world. Uh, people, believe it or not, you could try, you could save somebody's life if they're hypertension or diabetic and so on. But you know what? They give you they, they, uh, they thank you more <laughs> when you make them look younger, make them look more beautiful. You know, to they me, I think... They're happier with themselves. Yes, yeah. they do. Because the happier, the nicer you look, 
the younger you look and, and the better you perform, whatever it is. You know, you have that self-confidence in you, you know, and then you, everybody say, oh, you look good, you know, and then you, you have more enthusiasm to do whatever that you do. And, so, and you said it in your commercial. That was the first sentence, when you're happy with yourself, when you love yourself, the world looks better automatically because you, you're happy with yourself, which is very, very important. But how is the community reacting to this new stuff? Because as you know, you are the one really introducing all That's these true. aesthetic measures in the Haitian community. It's not that the Haitian are not doing them, but in the Haitian community, a clinic that we are proud of and inviting the Haitian community to, to be prettier eh? and to look younger, that is you who did that. And I like that, but how are they reacting? Because at the beginning, you said that you don't know how they would react. Yeah, they, um, you know what? I, we have a lot of men, interestingly, coming for, for the pee shot. You know, as you get you know, older, you know, your, your ability to perform sexually decreases. So based on your commercial, uh, we get a lot of calls and men actually come in to get a procedure done. Women are a little more uh, shy, shy or weird. they do not want to talk about the, you know, uh, uh, you know, the personal thing and so on, but, you know, we're open and we're not, that's not something that we publish. I mean, this is very, very private, you know, mm -hmm. but we do have uh, women coming in for trying to get weight control and we actually, Dr. Fino and I, we are putting a weight control program, like a three-month program together to help people reduce weight uh, because uh, you cannot do liposuction on someone that's, that's too, 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 too big, big, you know, so, so they need to be uh, a little, a little, a little, a little thinner. So then we're gonna we're gonna get to that. We're gonna uh, uh, have the uh, weight weight management uh, program under me and Dr. Finoli, and when they lose the weight, then if they need something else, then we go we're gonna do, we're gonna do liposuction. Okay. So is the first consult for the aesthetic clinic free, and they come and ask questions, or they have to pay? And then... no, no, no. It's it's free uh, uh, for the initial consultations, okay. um, and then if they're interested, we give them the price, and then they come back, you know, and then we work work with them, you know, because uh, this thing is not cheap. So, so some people need a little more time to get the money together to do this because all of the equipment, staff, you know, those cost money. Absolutely. So, 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 uh, and we're going to uh, talk about it in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous rappelle que nous avons un nouveau membre dans le Comprehensive Health Center et le Comprehensive Aesthetic Center, qui est le Dr. Moïse, je nous connais nous même dans la communauté. Le Dr. Moïse a gagné un bel docteur qui est le Faith Fenoli. Faith Fenoli, qui est le nouveau docteur qui est dans la clinique. Là. Et non seulement son docteur qui prend soin, qui, qui est médical, ça veut dire que que nous avons problème de diabète tension n'importe maladie nous gagnons la vie de nous mais en plus tout les gagnants ont une spécialité dans la médecine esthétique so, si nous besoin faire figure plus jeune botox fillers hein, son bail qui possible docteur Maurice t'a dit un bail qui très intéressant à l'heure il a expliqué moi que des plus garçons qui viennent dans la clinique là que mesdames yo. mesdames yo, ça n'a pas fait là hein faut figure arrêter le jeune tout and Dr. Maurice, you were telling us that you have a pee shot for the men with uh, dealing with ED. That's correct. And, but you also said that you have something for women. Yeah, they call it the, the O shot. The, o shot. You said what for is it? orgasm shot. So for women who has a low libido and who... Yes, or they have difficulty in reaching uh, an orgasm. It's interesting, you know, you, you would, you know, some women just cannot reach an orgasm, you know, so... Is and, there a uh, medical explanation for that? Well, it could be, there's a lot of reason, you know, it could be psychological, it could be physiological, it could be a lot of reason, you know, but the OSHAT have, uh, they have uh, made a lot of studies and it shows that it works. Uh, and it's, it's uh, and it doesn't hurt, by the way. We have the injection, we took the, your blood and the PRP, uh, plated with plasma, and we mixed up with, uh, with other, with other combination, and we inject it there and then, you know, it, it works. And it works. And yeah, they works. can have an orgasm after They can that. have an orgasm. And they can sometimes wow. have multiple orgasms. You know, but I have to say that it's not 
it depends on the person. It's not 100% for everybody. Some people work at 60%, some people, you, you know, yeah, it works different. Yeah, the problem people, in, is, exactly. is psychological. So automatically nothing will really help if the person doesn't want it or has a blockage or yeah. some kind of blockage. And also for people who have decreased libido, uh, you know, the people, they're just not into it. Their husband is, uh, say, you know, I don't know, they're just not you into, know, it. into it. So that help them increase this. Uh, I save a lot of marriages where, uh, the, where the men, instead of going outside of the marriage to get satisfied, so they, 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 they come you over. You fix the wife. I fix, I fix the wife. And then <laughs> your, your, husband is very, very, your husband is very, very happy. Well, okay. I, said, I think that I will have to say that in Creole to make sure that everybody got it. <laughs> Mesdames, le nous pas sous sexe, le nous anti, j'en pas sous ça encore. Dr. Moïse dit, passez pour messieurs, yo, al dans la oui pour la chèche un petit ménage. Nous même, vins dans la clinique là, y a pas nous, y a un petit peu de traitement. Pour capable mettre nous sous ça et puis automatiquement n'a pas senti nous mieux. Il dit que le sauver un pile mariage dans ces constats ça. So, Je pense que son bail qui est intéressant, mesdames yo, visitez Comprehensive Health Center. But usually um, all the these aesthetic places they always say that they they have more females than men in the in their clinics. So that's weird that you have more male in your clinic than women. Well, for for this I mean for this particular uh, uh, problem. You know, yeah. uh, you know, the Haitian men, as you know, they love their little sex, you know, and, and some of them, they might be older, but they have a, a, a younger uh, wife girlfriend. or a younger girlfriend and so, so on. So they want to make sure that they're not embarrassed, that they're able to perform. <laughs> because this is very embarrassing uh, for a man when he cannot perform. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's very, very, so, so they want to do something about it. And they do, and they do. I have, the other day I have 80, you, I swear to God, I have 80 year old man who wow. came to the office and look, man, I got a, my girlfriend is such and such age, and I need to perform because she 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 she's not happy, so she needs some help. So you know, so you know. You helped him. I, I helped him, but I told him that because of his age, uh, he was also a diabetic. So making sure that his sugar is under control, making sure that he follows his his his, his primary care physician to make sure that 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 the that the uh, everything is okay, and then we could help him some. Uh, most likely, 100% is not guaranteed, but at least if we help him from 30 to 40%, at least we help him some and so on. So you have Absolutely. to be realistic. Which is uh, very interesting at your clinic. They can see the doctor, the medical doctor, yes. and then, the, so everything is under control. Yes. You take care of the look and the health. That's why we call it Comprehensive Health Center. We, we you know, it's we everything. take care of, I, care I'm, of the, uh, I'm really proud of you. And, I mean, I admire you. And I have to add, the O shot is also good for women who have leakage. You know now... We're going to talk uh, about that right now because okay. we have to take a short break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Rudy Moyes Jr. Welcome to Comprehensive Health Center in Miami, Florida. And today, I'm going to be telling you about the expanding of the services that we provide to our clients. Uh, we are introducing a new department at Comprehensive Health Center, and that is medical aesthetics. And I will be talking to you a little bit about the machines that we provide for you today. We are the only location to provide four different non-surgical medical aesthetics equipment in all of Miami. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about Beautiful. So I'm going to get a little bit into the differences between regular liposuction and beautiful liposuction. So the first main difference between the two is downtime. So with regular liposuction, you're going to have, you know, five to six days of downtime where you can't go to work. That's going to be, it's obviously a hindrance. It's very annoying. With beautiful liposuction, it's only going to be local anesthesia. And you're just going to have maybe a day of downtime. You don't even need that, however it is recommended. The third difference between regular liposuction and beautiful liposuction is that you're going to be using your own fat to add more volume to your face as compared to using any artificial fillings. Hi, my name is Maya Moise and I will be talking about the Femlift. The Femlift is a CO2 laser, which is actually the strongest and most powerful out of all the four lasers that we offer at Comprehensive Health Center. The CO2 lasers, they help with resurfacing issues, such as scars like stretch marks and other texture imperfections. Welcome to Femlift, a revolutionary vaginal rejuvenation laser treatment 
We understand that this is a very personal topic to discuss for many women. So we have actually had our own laser technicians actually go through with this operation. So that way, if any patients have any questions or concerns, we can provide them with someone who actually has firsthand experience dealing with the operation. There is a new member at Comprehensive Health Center, Clinique Dr. Moisla. So when you go there, you can take care of your health and your beauty. You just have to move from one floor to the other one. The aesthetic floor is upstairs, right? And downstairs, it's your health. So it's a complete center. And you were talking about the leakage for the women before I can continue. Uh, my conversation with you. You said that you also do uh, vaginal rejuvenation for the women, and you you were mentioning the leakage. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, vaginal rejuvenation. You know, after a woman has like two or three kids, and the vaginal wall, you have laxity. They are a little loose, so the, the the treatment with laser help tighten the vagina to make it even tighter. Um, and along with the O shot. Uh, interestingly, uh, they sell now more uh, adult pimpers than baby pimpers. Why? Really? Because some women, when they cough, when they exercise, they, they leak on them, urine. You know? And this is very embarrassing for a young, beautiful woman to be able to, you know, when they cough, when they season, you have, you have leakage. So uh, I, I know a woman that, you know, from, from her house to work, she knows exactly where all the bathroom is because she has to stop several times on her way because she, because she leaks herself, you know? Yeah. So, so by doing the O shot and then also the, the, uh, the vaginal rejuvenation, that helps you not know, tightening up the, 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 bladder, the bladder muscles and that, that helps you take care of it, you know? And we do that, and we do three, uh, three treatments and it's good for over a year, you know? And, you know, so, so, so it works. So, Interesting, yeah. very good to know. Okay, so now, can you name some of the aesthetic treatment that you do at Comprehensive Aesthetic Center? Sure. So we do, my favorites are Botox, fillers, threads. Threads? We, yeah, threads. What is threads? So threads are, they work similar to fillers. They help build collagen in your skin, tighten your face, um, but they're not as risky as a filler may be. A filler, if placed incorrectly, can cause a stroke sometimes. Really? It can cause a vascular occlusion, mm -hmm. whereas the threads are found to be less risky um, with lasting benefits. But it's of, not a shot? What is it exactly when you said thread? Is like so it's a little pinprick and then a little string. It almost okay. looks like a little piece of string that goes into your face, and then we pull it out to tighten, and the string will stay in your face and naturally degrade and help build collagen over time and help tighten any sort of loose skin or drooping skin. There is no risk with this treatment? Much less risky. There's a risk with everything, but much less risky than something like a filler. And where do you put it? Because if it's a little pin, as you uh -huh. said, so well, you cannot put it just Surprisingly, anywhere. you can put it in quite a few places. You can put it in the cheeks to give a little lift. You can put it in jowls to lift your chin up, your neck, drooping neck. 11 lines, which are in the forehead. Okay. We can put them in there and people get some really good results. Even, the, even the nose, mm -hmm. sometimes they put the nose so they can raise, raise the nose yep. a little bit more and so on. Oh, so. oh. Mm -hmm. And they do it like, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we, you make it, you make it look good, really, it looks, you know, you looks younger because he, he stretch it for you. Yep. It takes, you know, it's very quick too, so. Wow, mm -hmm. okay, so it's not painful, you said, is it? It's slightly painful, but we help with a little bit of um, pain medication, treatment topically, that helps. But it's not bad, it's a little pinch and then you're pretty much done. Okay, yeah. so what other treatments you do there, beside what he mentioned, which is the P-shot, the uh -huh. O-shot, the vaginal rejuvenation, and etc. cetera, uh, on the aesthetic part, what other things? We do PRP, which is plasma-rich protein, which can help, um, not, we can do it to different areas. So we can do it to your face to help give you a little bit of a glow, stimulate collagen. You can do it for hair loss as well. You can do it to the hair. For hair loss, mm -hmm. tell me about it. For hair loss, so we, it's your own blood that we remove and we spin it down 
and we inject it into the scalp or areas where you may be having hair loss and it sometimes takes a few treatments but a lot of people have good results with it and um, it's not very painful it's little uh, little injections like if you were to get a TB injection mm -hmm. kind of similar to that so it's not nearly as painful and you would have to do it like forever, continuously? Not forever, it just depends on how quick you respond, everybody's different and um, how long your re results last for. But let's say that someone is coming to your office, the person is losing hair, mm -hmm. men or women, and you give a shot to that person, and normally how many treatments? Usually two to three, I would say. Um, and that's after we do a workup to make sure there's nothing underlying that's pathological or any autoimmune condition um, for the hair loss. So we would do a full workup medically first and then proceed with an aesthetic treatment. Okay, and Dr. Moise said, of course, there is the butt lift, the fat transfer, mm -hmm. even uh, to transfer the, the fat to the breast. I yes. never knew it was possible. Mm -hmm. But I think also you have something called a morphose. Uh... Yeah, morphose A. This is for the, this is to tighten, tighten the skin and for people who have, um, uh, what's the thing that the women have in the back cellulite. of the cellulite. cellulite. I'm sorry, cellulite. You know, the help. <laughs> you know, it helps you know, tighten the skin for cellulite. You know, so it, it works wonderful. We also have a new machine called Opus, and this is to uh, to correct the line. If you have any lines in the face, it helps. He helps the line. What's the name of this one? Opus, O-P-U-S. Okay. And, and we, it's a, we just got it about a month ago, and it's a wonderful piece is of equipment. Is the micro needle? No, no, no. This one, this one is, a, is a, like a little frequency, and it, when you put it in the face, and it just kind of, you know, straight okay. you know, Similar. It erase it, the wrinkle. It, it, exactly. We also have uh, a very popular machine uh, for laser hair removal. You know, every night, every, every ladies, I need to get this done. You know, it's, it's, it's painless. Uh, for all skin type, painless. From, yeah, from from being really uh, as as light as her to the dark skin, you know, it's it's it takes off. You just have to adjust the frequency of it, you know, and you can. It's painless. Uh, several years ago, I went to a place because I was tired of shaving, so so I, I wanted to to get to get it done. And these things were so painful. I said, you know what? You keep the money. I, I'm not going to get this done anymore. You know, I'll keep you know? your you'll you know? keep your razor. But now <laughs> this thing is painless. And I have the top of line equipment, wow. like comprehensive, and then it takes you off it with no, it's fast too, it's fast. You know, we, we need like four or five treatments or someone and it's done. The only thing that doesn't work, this is for gray hair. If you have gray hair, it's not gonna work for gray hair. Really? No. Why is that? Because of the pigment, you know, uh, talking about the pigment and so on, so it doesn't, doesn't work for the So for they the better issue. do it as quick as possible, yeah. as fast before they, they, get gray they hair. get gray hair. It's interesting to know that. So um, you invested a lot in this building because you have the latest technology. I think you have one or two machines there. You are the only one who have them in Miami. Yeah, we have the Duo as well. The Duo is something that we just got recently as well. And I think that probably the only one in Miami that has it. This is shockwave treatment for men with, with, so we have a lot of treatment, different treatment for men with ED. Mm -hmm. You know, this one is a shockwave you put, you, and it's painless as well. You put it on the, on the private area and then you shock it one, two, three, four times and so on. You do, it's like a 15 minutes. You do that twice a week for three weeks and that helps with the increase in the circulation. The, uh, in, in so the, it's in a the, natural in the treatment. Exactly. And then it, it, no gives, you, it gives you a nice, a, nice, a, nice, a, nice, a nice erection for the men. And we just received the information that we can use it for women as well. So they just send us the information to help women to, to, to uh, similar to the ocean and so on. So we have all type of treatment for different conditions. So back to you and the Haitian community. I'm, I would like to see a consult between you and a Haitian and a, you have a translator, you mm -hmm. said. But many Haitians, they do speak English as well. Many do, yes. Were they happy to see you? Yeah, they what were. I get reaction? hugs even during the pandemic. They <laughs> you have hugs. often approach me and hug me, which is sweet. Um, yeah, so it's good to make them feel good. And so they already love you? Yeah, so far it's been going go. good. Oh, yeah. how, do, how do the women versus the men patients uh, 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 appreciate you? Is that the, both the same way or is one more appreciative than the other ones? I think that the That's females are more... Um, outspoken, emotional, thankful. They're the huggers typically. Um, and the men are more um, kind of stern with their medical care, a little bit more, I think, 
as opposed to the aesthetics where they may be more outspoken in terms of the medical care, they're more seeking of my guidance and my help. And um, I think that they're motivated to have good health and what I recommend, they come on board with me, we get a plan together with them. Um, and so far it's been great. I don't know. Yeah. You were talking about the diet and the craving that mm -hmm. some of us we have in the middle of the night, yes. which is my case. I'm always uh -huh. hungry at night. And you said that you stop eating at seven. We would like to have some advice about uh, how to behave mm -hmm. when we don't want to gain weight. Sure. Let's say we want to maintain or to lose weight. Mm -hmm. You also have wonderful diets from what I learned. Mm -hmm. You have diets for everybody. Yes. Um, and do you do on... case by case for the diet or one diet is good for everyone? No, definitely case by case and based on a patient's medical history, genetics, family history, um, depending on their body weights, because you may have someone with an unhealthy BMI in the wrong direction, an underweight patient. So, um, and you don't want them just eating a surplus of carbs or fatty foods to gain the weight. So it's different for everybody. But in terms of cravings, I think if you find a feeling healthy food and fruits that you enjoy, um, to supplement maybe a whole grain oatmeal or a yogurt and adding some pieces of fruit and a little bit of granola into it. You can really find tasty good snacks that taste almost like junk food or taste almost like <laughs> ice cream and that are still filling. There has been a big debate about milk versus mm -hmm. almond milk or oat milk. What is your opinion? Is milk really bad for us? It depends on the type of milk you're drinking. It's always good to look at the nutrition facts for the sugar content, sodium content, fat content, and cholesterol content as well, because sometimes you don't realize that. And it's good to compare the nutrition facts. And, and no matter what you eat, nothing in excess is go ever good. Even but fruit. milk itself is not really dangerous. It's a source of hormones and stuff like that, no? It's not necessarily been proven to do that, but are there adverse potentials with it, sure, and it's always good to look at the nutrition facts. And if you have an adverse reaction or you have personal, you know, almost an allergy or a bad reaction to it, you should avoid it and go to your doctor and get tested for any uh, food allergies or gluten intolerances. But are you telling us that if we can tolerate the milk, there is no reason why we should not have consumed milk? No, you can consume milk, milk just not in excess. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and uh, for example, I'll give you a classic example. I am lactose you know, intolerant. Mm -hmm. So when I drink, when I go to Starbucks, get a cafe con leche, you, you know. Ask for soy. I ask for soy. And usually I take uh, lactate, mm -hmm. uh, which is a pill that I can, you can buy at Walgreens, and CVS, and so on. So I take that. When I, when I drink it and like that, I'm okay. But if not, man, I tell you, I'm bloated. It's, it's, it's very, very comfortable, you know. So, so, so that's why it's soy or oat milk or almond milk, I, so I don't drink regular milk. People, some people say that lactate will constipate them. And they, is that true? Will it do and that? For different a... people, it gives you different things. It, it, it does the opposite for me, you know, it makes me run. Normal. So, so, so oh. right, and, it, and it's timing. If I take it now, 10 minutes later, bam, you know, it, you know so that's why I don't drink milk. <laughs> okay, so you have soil and oat milk. Yeah. It's yeah. always better also to have the uh, plant uh, yeah. milk. They're not really right. milk. They don't taste as good. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's okay if we can do yeah. that switch and like uh, try to diminish the, the milk and take and off things, the milk yeah. in mm -hmm. our diet regularly. Mm -hmm. So if we are hungry in the middle of the night, what do we do? Because some <laughs> people won't be able to sleep. Uh, this is a personal question. Uh -huh. So what do I do in the middle of the <laughs> night when I'm hungry? or before I go to sleep and I really want to eat something, what would be that dream snack? So the best thing that I would recommend is working on your sleep hygiene first and uh, training yourself. I was yourself. afraid that you would say something like <laughs> yeah. that. I was really scared. Because waking up in the middle of the night isn't ideal to be breaking up your REM sleep either. You want to get a consistent seven, eight hours a night. Absolutely. And if you wake up and you eat anything, even if you're eating a healthy snack, it's going to give you a little bit of energy. But you know why I wake up? It's because I didn't eat before eating. When I'm trying to do what you were saying, uh -huh. then I can, even if I go to sleep, I will wake up because I was hungry. So I have to eat like one or two hours before going to sleep. Uh -huh. And then, then I won't wake up. So that's but okay. if I don't eat and I do like you, yeah. I will be hungry. 
Well, then you have to figure it out. You have to do trial and error and figure out what's best for you. But if you feel like you need something an hour or two before bed, it's better to eat a small filling, healthy snack than it is to overindulge in like a bowl of ice cream or a bag of chips right before bed. It's better to eat like an oatmeal or a yogurt and a piece of fruit, and something some that's easily nuts. digestible. You can have some nuts. They're harder to digest, but they are filling and not as bad as junk food. So find a healthy filling snack and see if that helps. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Moise, as you know, is a military, he's an actor, he's a lawyer, he's a doctor, and now he's a journalist. He's trying to take my <laughs> job. He's asking her a question in my own show. Okay, I let you ask the question because the previous one was good. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Dr. Finoli, you um, obviously you single, mm -hmm. okay, but I know you, you know have you ever a boyfriend? Um, when I first show, when I first, uh, when you first came to the office, and then we, um, uh, I put you on Facebook, I got a lot of responses. I was like, "Oh man, what a beautiful! Oh my God, you know, a lot of." So, when a male patient, how do you handle this? When male patient come to you, and you very very attractive and so on, and they try to flirt with you, so how do you handle that? Um, I think you say. <laughs> I think you say thank you, but you conduct the interview, you keep it professional, and you say we're here to talk about you today, not me, and we want to focus on your health, and we only have a certain amount of time to do your visit, and it's good to have a good connection with your physician and a trusting relationship, but you know, the, the office is not the dating scene and it's not a dating app, you know, there are apps for that, but the office is to better your health and your well-being and to get help with your own relationship, not to make a new one. How about if, this, uh, how about if I talk to you after work? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Murray, if I didn't know you, I would say you're asking for yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. I said, if I didn't know you. And me. Okay. I would just say, I'm a rule follower, and we don't break the rules here. So, in a word, you stay professional, uh -huh. but you don't go to the Me Too movement to report the patient. No, unless there was a, a clear breach of professionalism or safety concern. No. But you don't feel like everyone is. No, no, everyone is human. Everyone's human. And even when you're doing genital exams, you know, sometimes a patient becomes erect and you need to step out of the room, give them some time, and let them calm down. But it but happens, it's natural. every time you show up, the same thing happens, how would you conduct <laughs> that? You have to call Dr. Moise and then, okay, then leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you always have a chaperone for genital exams anyway. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you're handling things very well. Yes, yes. And you stay nice and polite and kind. Yes. And which is very interesting. So I have to tell you something that I discovered during the break. While talking to Dr. Fanoli, Finoli. Finoli, she told me that she's a big believer in l'huile parma Christi. I was shocked. Parma Christi is a number one Haitian oil, and we use it for everything. And you said that you use it too. Yes. How come you know about Parma Christi? I had a friend who had told me about it. I played tennis in college and I finished in three years while doing a pre-med degree. So I was very stressed and I started losing hair. And so a friend had told me about the castor oil and I started using it and my hair has thankfully grown back and I use it about one, once to twice a week and it's done wonders for my hair. And I, I absolutely love it. I would recommend it to anyone. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Ave, maybe you'll buy my Christie. So yeah. it really works. I, re I mean, that's the only thing I've done. I don't take bio. I used to take biotin. It didn't help me. And then there have been studies on it that it may interfere with certain lab work. And so I stopped that. And I just did the, 
the um, castor oil and tried improving my diet, and it has really helped me. But you smell, but you smell very strong. Yeah. Do you actually leave it? Leave I leave it, it on for about an hour. Oh, okay. And then okay. I shower it off. Oh, I see. Oh, so yeah. do it, you do it before? Before bed. Okay, before mm -hmm. the shampoo. Every night? Yes. Not every night, once to twice a week. So it was a pleasure talking Thank to you. you. Likewise. And your final word to the Haitian community, directly to them? Well, it's been a pleasure so far, and I'm looking forward to meeting more and more as the days go by, and feel free to make an appointment anytime you'd like. Perfect. Dr. Moise, your last word? It's a pleasure to us to talk to you with us in the office. So, take us with us, not only with me, but with him too. We work together. It was a pleasure being with you tonight once again, and we'll meet next week at the same time. Bonsoir. Mesdames et messieurs, Alain TV fait beaucoup d'efforts à agrandir son réseau et vous offrir une programmation de qualité. Regardez Alain TV partout où vous êtes. Téléchargez notre application gratuite sur votre téléphone. Pour nous contacter, écrivez-nous à alaintv.tv ou appelez-nous au 1-888-816-7174.